All right. So what remains is I need to find the mass. All right. So how many uh, atoms of indium do I have? Now remember, we're not counting up all of these spheres that you see here because we're going from the centers. The, the unit cell is um, from the center to center. So that cuts off some of the mass. And if we add this up, um, or you can remember that uh, face centered cubic has four um, atoms within the unit cell. But uh, you look here, we have eight um, atoms on the lattice points of the cube. And each one of those will have one eighth within the unit cell. Okay, so that's eight times one eighth, um, eight corners times eighth of an atom per corner. And then we have uh, the faces, all right? Each face, all right, we're cutting this in half, so each face will only be half of an atom, and we have six of those. So that's six times a half is three. We add that to the one from the eight corners, and you get four atoms per unit cell. Okay? So the four atoms per unit cell will tell us, um, or we can get the, the mass within that unit cell just by, um, uh, let me go ahead and, and write this a little bit nicer, four atoms per unit cell, and I have, um, what is the mass per atom? Okay, that's where I can look at the periodic table. And recall this is for the element indium. And if I look at the periodic table, it shows indium here is um, 114.818. And what are the units there? Um, 114.818 either grams per mole or AMU per atom. All right, so now my atoms cancel and I have so many AMU per unit cell. All right, but I want grams per cubic centimeter, okay? So how do I get from AMU to grams? Well, there are 114.8 um, grams per mole, or AMU per atom, so my factor here is Avogadro's number, all right? Um, so we're going to put that down here, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd AMU per gram. All right. So this is one way to do it. We, we could also uh, use here grams per mole, and then this will be um, still Avogadro's number, uh, but it's going to be atoms per mole and the moles will cancel, the atoms will uh, cancel there, of course, if we arrange it the right way. Um, and uh, either way, the math will work out to be just the same. Okay, so um, here my AMU cancel, and I'm left with grams. All right, so four times 114.8 divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And what I end up with is four times 114.818 divided by 6.022 exponent 23rd equals 7.626 or 627 times 10 to the minus 22. Okay, 7.627 
times 10 to the minus 22 grams. Okay, so now I have my very tiny mass, of course, because it's just one uh, unit cell. It has all of four atoms in it. Um, and that will correspond with my very tiny volume. So I'm just going to divide these two, the mass by the volume, to get the density. Okay, so um, let me just go ahead and put that right here. The mass divided by 9.797 times 10 to the minus 23rd cubic centimeters and uh, 10 to the minus 22 over 10 to the minus 23 okay that will uh, cancel and you'll end up with 10 to the minus 1 down there um, so in the end when we do this it'll be like taking 7.627 divided by uh, this times 10 to the minus 1 or point nine seven nine seven okay so here we'll have seven point uh, seven eight five grams per cubic centimeter okay so seven point seven eight five um, now if I look at my uh, problem. I have three significant figures. I should uh, go ahead and round that. I'll say 7.79 uh, grams per cubic centimeter. 